Sleeping Horses, Caballos Durmientes, es la primera exposición de John Zurier en la Galería Norden Hack en México y es una presentación muy potente de un grupo de pinturas nuevas que el artista ha realizado tanto en su estudio en Islandia, donde vive parcialmente desde hace 15 años, como en Berkeley, California, y todas siguen la estética del artista marcada por una pintura muy atmosférica con una técnica pictórica muy delgada de distemper sobre canvas. Todas representan una variación del trabajo que desde mediados de los 90 el artista ya definió como su trabajo más paradigmático, que es alrededor de la tela casi monocroma, casi geométrica, pero siempre con disconformidades y frágiles roturas en el espacio pictórico que nos evocan a multiplicidad de distintos niveles de experiencia. I had the pleasure of seeing John's work for the first time in Sao Paulo Biennale 10 years ago, about mm -hmm. two, 2012, yeah, was 2012. it? Yeah, I intuitively liked the works very much. And I go and look at the titles and they all have Swedish titles or very old fashioned Swedish titles. And as it turns out, John had been visiting Sweden in the footsteps of a medieval painter, church painter. And so these were reference to the places and churches where this artist had uh, been active 1490 or something like that. So immediately there was a connection. After that, we started working together and, and this is the first exhibition in Mexico. And we are very, very happy to be able to show the work here. <laughs> There's a painting called Requiem, again, so it refers to another painting. Yeah? In history, you always ask an artist, where do you get your inspiration? Mm -hmm. And of course, inspiration is not God sent necessarily. It's work comes from work. Artistic paintings come <laughs> from other paintings. In John's work, there are always references to places or... Yeah, it was seasons, places, uh, often poetry, songs, in this case, the Requiem again, it's a song yeah. title. Um, but I think the point that you made is really important is that above all, I'm a painter and I'm often asked, what are the paintings about? They do have evocative titles and the titles have a story, but the paintings don't. The paintings mm. are silent. The paintings are very quiet. The paintings don't tell a story. They don't, not at all. But they have a yeah. story for yeah. the artist. Of yes. I'm happy to talk about the titles because they're personal to me. But I think of the titles as an invitation to a mood, to something that corresponds to something from my life, what I'm thinking about. But I'm in the studio making the paintings. The paintings come first. Hmm. I'm not even looking for something when I'm painting. I'm just painting, responding to what I see, and then when the paintings resolve themselves, and sometimes it takes a long time, years. Yeah, yeah. And when they do, then the titles come afterwards as a, uh, an indication of something that has something with the energy of the work. Yeah. And there are two paintings in this exhibition, one Requiem Again, which comes from a song by one of my favorite bands, the Derudi Column, a post-punk band from mm. uh, Manchester. And uh, Vinnie Riley is one of my favorite guitarists, and it's just fabulous. Anyway, so there was a painting that I had made, oh, I don't know, a while ago. And this painting felt like it was connected to that painting and to that experience. And it just felt that this was a perfect way of acknowledging that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the work is related to paintings that I've done in the past, like this painting here. It's, uh, it's an untitled painting, but then it's the the dry and green tree. I showed one that was with that a format similar to that with you in 2013 mm -hmm. in our very first show. Mm -hmm. The painting feels different, it looks different, but it relates to me to uh, that painting and it's a way of revisiting it from, mm. with a completely, yeah. because I'm different now after five years. So and this is a 10 year celebration. It is, <laughs> a very, it is. And uh, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, 